Hello, this is Amanda with Art Therapy with Amanda. As you see, I have these little figurines. This is what we'll be making today. Um, they're made out of an air dry clay. There's a couple different companies that you can get this from. Crayola has one. Um, I actually got this one off of Amazon.com. It's called Magic Clay. And it's an air dry clay that dries completely in 24 hours. Now let's go over our materials. Okay, our materials are so simple today. Everything actually came in the kit that I ordered. Um, so I have the air dry clay and I have it in multiple colors. And this kit came with these little attachments that are for keychains, but you can buy these separately. You can get them at a craft store or at Walmart in the craft section. And then this kit also came with some clay working tools like a knife and some other little um, textured tools. Now, if, if you don't have that, guess what you can use? Just a butter knife and a fork at home. So now that we have our materials and know what we're using, let's get started. So first we're going to do our little penguin. I don't know, you can call him a penguin. You can call him a snowman. He's got his little kind of mushroom gnome hat on. And feel free to work in any colors that you have, but I have white, orange, this kind of neon red, and a neon green. So I'm gonna start with the white first and get me a kind of good little bit of it. And I'm gonna take that and put it in two different piles, like a bigger pile and a smaller pile. Take it into the palm of my hand and roll it until I get a little oval circle. And that'll be his body. And I'm gonna take the smaller and do the same thing. Now regular clay, you kind of have to use this stuff called slip to put it together. The nice thing about this air dry clay is you do not need that. So I'm just gonna take my ball and kind of do a little indention and put my other one there and just press it down and let it sit and dry while I'm going to do his arms. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gray out for his arms. You really don't need that much because they're very tiny. Um, also, what you want to do when you're not using this is seal it back up because even though it takes 24 hours for it to totally dry, um, it starts drying almost instantly, which is cool for your projects to keep together, but you definitely don't want to waste, so put it back in there, which you're not using. This I'm going to pinch down to kind of like a coil, and then I'm gonna lay it down on the flat surface and roll it. Just like when you're in art class in elementary school. Roll us out a little coil. You wanna get it pretty fine. So I'm gonna take my tool and cut half of that off because that's too much. And I'm gonna roll it out pretty thin to a small, little coil. All right. And now I'm gonna take my tool and cut that off. And we'll put that back away. So it doesn't dry out, we can use that later. And now I'm gonna cut him into two halves. There we go. And I still think that's kind of long for him, proportion-wise, so I'm actually gonna cut a little bit of each one of them off. We don't wanna give him too long of arms. And now I'm just gonna figure out where I wanna put his arms, take my gray clay and push it pretty firmly into the body of my little penguin snowman. Now you see where right there, 
there was an indention, I'm gonna just go back and, and press that out because we don't want that, but it will happen. And now I'm gonna press the other arm firmly on the other side. And I can take the tool a little bit, which if you were working with silverware or plasticware, you could just do the, the knife, the butter knife, and just press that in so we know it's got a good hold and we'll dry solid. So there we go. We've got our head, our body, and our two arms. Let's do his hat and we'll take our red and I got a pretty big glob of it, bigger than his whole body put together. And I'm gonna manipulate that and do it in kind of a oblong and then pull it out the top more like a triangle, almost like a teardrop. Okay, there's his hat. As we have our little teardrop here, I'm gonna take my pinky and push it in. And now I can fit that on his head and start manipulating that a little bit. I'm gonna pull it down more like a little gnome's hat. There he goes, he's so cute. Okay. All right, there he is. I'm gonna take my little tool and just add some little indentions to the bottom of his hat give a little texture and interest to our piece. There we go. He's cute. Now these um, keychain or ornament things come with it. So you can just take it and push it right down inside, but you can actually get these from craft stores. And if they don't have that on it, you can just super glue it on top, so easy. Okay, we're gonna let him sit. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the gray and a little bit more of the white. All right, so the gray I'm gonna take and do very small little tiny circles or spheres. And now we want to get one around the same size as that one. Some kind of matching eyes where you're going to place them. Remember to pat, pat them firmly down. And now I'm going to do his little dots on his hat the same way. Do some small little spheres of white and then on his hat, press them right in. There we go, okay. So now I'm going to take some orange, and I was kind of going for a carrot on that one, but then it kind of looked like a bill. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a little bit more because I'm gonna use that also with his scarf that we're gonna put around, which we're gonna use with this green too. So there we go. First things first, I'm gonna pull out a little bit of this orange and let's see if I can get a little bit more of a carrot looking nose. I'm gonna pull it out and then kind of take it and See if we can get it on there. Oh, I like it. Look, he's got more of a carrot going on. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, so there's his little carrot. We put it on pretty firmly. Now we're gonna take these colors and make our, you know, let's go ahead and massage them together. So yeah, if it gets a little flaky on you, just go ahead and knead it together. And once I've coiled those, I'm gonna take these, put them together at the end, and twist them together. Once I've got a good twist, then I'm gonna put it back down and coil it. And then we're gonna cut it off and take our figurine and wrap him around and pinch it in the back. So now we have our snowman. He looks pretty cute. Or, you know, penguin. Penguin snowman. So we'll put him to the side and let him dry. Okay, so now we're gonna start on our second ornament or keychain gift. I made a little mushroom. They're so cool right now. Pretty calming little fungi. So um, let's start with some different colors. I'm gonna do blue and purple this time. So I'm gonna get me a little blob of blue, a nice little blob of purple. And again, I'm gonna start by just making a sphere. And then I'm gonna put it down on my non-stick surface and kind of just flatten it out. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my purple. Now I'm gonna pull this up. So I've got my little disc. And I'm gonna take my um, little tool that I can put some texture and I want to texture. Um, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute right here, and I'm gonna take my same colors, the two, the purple and the light blue, and I'm gonna take a piece of both of them and mix them together and make us a new color. Okay, I like that. I think that's a good, you can tell the tonals. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple of pieces of that and make my spheres and put some dots on my mushroom. Now I'm gonna take um, a couple more of my just blue. You don't want to go over the sides too much because we did put those um, textures in. Now I'm just going to pull it up, make sure that I can still move it. I can. All right, so now I'm getting ready to do my mushroom stem. So I'm going to take this guy and firmly push him into my color that we made and then take the purple and firmly push it together because we want all three shades. And then what am I gonna do? Yep, I'm gonna roll him out a little bit and then push him back down. Make sure that these really are stuck together as one. Let's do a little bit more rolling and shape him, push him, push him. We're gonna get that bottom flat, so if you wanted it to, it could stand up, but it probably, you never will, because it's gonna be an ornament or a keychain. Now, 
we're gonna take our top and we can just sit him there. And we're gonna kind of maneuver him a little bit. Oh wait, you know what? We're gonna turn him over and take our tool and ever so slightly, we're gonna put some texture on the underside of our mushroom. Well, it's the little details that add a lot to your project. So then now we're gonna pull him down like an umbrella and kind of maneuver him, shape him a little bit, push. You can take your finger and push it up and hold and you'll get the Start getting that kind of mushroom feel. Now we're gonna take this guy and firmly push him into our top and hold him like that. Okay, once we got it in there, we're gonna take our keychain or ornament topper and just push him right in to the air dry clay and it will dry just like so. What do you guys think? I like these colors. I think they're cool. And I hope you had fun making them. Okay, so what I'd love to do is while we're making our ornaments slash keychains, talk about some ways to practice self-care at Christmas time or holiday time. Of course, this season is all about spending time with family and friends, but it's important to make yourself a priority and to be kinder to yourself this time of year because it can be very overwhelming for a lot of people. Um, it's a time of chaos and noise and our calendars and our brains are as full and overstuffed as our fridges sometimes. So you just have to take some time and relax, step back and give to yourself. Some of the things that you can do to really inspire yourself to get into the spirit is what I call deck your halls. You can decorate be festive in your decor, you know, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, as you can tell by our DIY videos. You can make your own wreaths and ornaments and make collages and make your space your own and make it festive. That definitely helps with your mindset a lot of times. Remember, as you're getting gifts for everybody else, that you should treat yourself also. It doesn't have to be something very expensive. It can be something very simple as a massage or just a nice coffee cup for yourself. But remember to treat yourself. No one else will treat yourself the way that you treat yourself. Right now is a great time to connect. Um, it can be a little overwhelming with a stuff schedule, but don't forget about to check in on family and friends right now. It's been a really tough year for a lot of people. Um, you wanna make sure that you have time to really connect with those loved ones. If you can at all cost, you know you wanna avoid certain stressful situations. Um, going out, to shop at certain times right now can be very overwhelming. There's a lot of people at stores. Um, you know, you don't always have to shop for gifts. Remember that you can watch videos and rely on your talents. Um, write someone a nice letter. Draw someone a beautiful picture. Put it in a frame. It doesn't have to be expensive gifts, you know? So don't overstress yourself with money and trying to keep up with the Joneses and get these expensive gifts, or even being in places where it's overbearing. And I feel like the number one thing that really puts me at ease at any time, especially um, holiday times, is giving back. Giving back is so good for your soul. Um, there's so many people and organizations uh, in your local community around Christmas time and all times that really need your time and help. You can volunteer to serve people, donate clothes, or find just other ways to give back. Foster animals, there's always a place in your heart for, for giving back. 
I hope that you have the most greatest holidays this holiday season, and I hope you have fun making these ornaments and keychains, and I hope you take time for yourself.